Tonight's episode of AFD is so big, I don't think this studio can hold it. So we're taking it on the road. We will be visiting Santa Monica Beach, beautiful Beverly Hills, star-studded Hollywood, and the happiest place on earth, Disneyland. And we'll award one lucky family 50 years of vacations, courtesy of Disney Vacation Club. Welcome to sunny California and a very special America's Funniest Home Videos. Tonight, it's AFB's Grand Prize Spectacular. We travel to Hollywood, Beverly Hills, Santa Monica Beach, and have some big fun at Disneyland as we award the season's best video the prize of a lifetime on AFB's Grand Prize Spectacular. And now, here he is, the grandest prize of all, Tom Bergeron! Thank you very much! Thank you! Okay! Welcome to AFE's Grand Prize Spectacular. One of our $300,000 winners will win a prize that's almost too good to be true. How does 50 years of vacation sound? Hawaii, Paris, the Caribbean cruise, plus nearly 500 other destinations courtesy of Disney Vacation Club. Yes, indeed. Okay, now tonight I'm going to take a vacation right here in beautiful Southern California. It's just one of the many locations you can choose with membership in Disney Vacation Club. But before we start our vacation, I got a little work to do. It's recording. She said it's recording. Do something funny. Pottery class is fun, unless you get your apron caught in the pottery wheel. <laughs> they told her to put on a shirt, they just didn't tell her what to put it on. <laughs> How paranoid are you when you're jealous of your own tail? <laughs> Guess who's not on the ladder to success? <laughs> no. Childhood is a time of discovery. Today, he discovered his own hand. You're about to see a frog attack a fly. <laughs> Los Angelinos love their sport, sure. There's basketball, baseball, but we prefer L.A. sports. Shopping, stargazing, latte drinking. Here are some sports you may play in your hometown. Always keep your eye on the ball, but keep the other eye on the base. This is what is known as a slam dunce. It looks like this tees for two. There's a handoff. Now the player wants the ref to get his foot off. <laughs> 
funny. The best catch of the game was made by the fence. When you get batted in, sometimes it's hard to turn off your adrenaline. Here's a little golf tip. People with glass houses shouldn't shank. <laughs> the term housebroken usually refers to a dog that's trained to go outside. Now, in this case, it describes what happens to the house when the dog got through with it inside. So this is what we came home to this evening. Not so much out of the ordinary with the, the trim on the floor. These used to be the blinds on the, on the window in the dining room. This used to be the back door. The blind on the back door, Ms. Bear, she's, she's not the culprit here. The thing I cannot handle is when he chews through the wall. <laughs> Chewed up all the insulation. Chewed a hole in the wall. Not just in the wall, through the wall. Where is he? Oh, he, now he just lays outside like a bad dog. There he is. All right, now it's time to meet our first nominated video. It stars a young boy who seems to think if you blow out your birthday candles more than once, you get more than one wish. It's birthday blowout. Hey, Saint. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Get the camera. On the side, Lynn. Open it. Wait a minute. You can open it on. Get a turn. Hold on. Read. Put it on for him. Read it. We have to sing out. Slide it. Slide it. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> All right, join us when we return for the first leg of our adventure. I will see you at Disneyland. Want to see your funny video on TV? Upload it to AFV.com. I'm just outside Disney's Grand Californian Hotel and Spa. When you become a member of Disney Vacation Club, you could stay at this wonderful resort with the comforts of home. There is a convenient entrance to Disney's California Adventure Park, and Disneyland is just a short stroll away. Is there anything more Californian than a California-themed hotel in California? I'm gonna check into my suite while you check out these sweet clips. Oh, he's hung out, but not to dry. <laughs> not only are his guns getting bigger, in a moment his foot is going to be getting bigger. Oh, no. Oh, no. That actually landed on your foot. Four. Five. That was a camera. George. Six. 
This is why hammocks don't go to 11. She's working her arms, but what she needs are buns of steel. <laughs> There's been a big rise this year in cuddling injuries. <laughs> Forgive me, Father, for I have barfed. taking a sneak peek at the new Disney Vacation Club Villas that will be opening later this year at the Villas at Disney's Grand Californian Hotel and Spa. They have all the comforts of home. As a matter of fact, when you show up, everyone says, welcome home. And you can see why. Fully equipped kitchen, big flat panel TV, there are hidden Mickeys everywhere. Unless you think we're living kind of large, the Disney Vacation Club people have put it within reach of just about everybody. Oh, and I forgot the best part. Wait till you see our next door neighbor. This is how close you'll be to the Grizzly River Run at Disney's California Adventure Park. You can hear the screams from here. Sounds a lot like last year's grand prize winner. <laughs> Don't scare her! Don't scare her! Versus Bushes. The Tushes are up first, and they're attacking with laser precision. But the Bushes aren't hedging their bets. The Tushes are applying pressure. But the bushes refuse to sit this one out. The tushes fight back with both buns ablazing. The bushes have one last chance. Get thee to a shrubbery. And the winner is. God touch Join us next week when these cheeky monkeys take on rodents bombing smokes on versus. You know what's great about being a Disney Vacation Club member? If you get hungry, you can call room service. You can step into your fully equipped kitchen. If you call ahead, you can order groceries and have them delivered to your room. So whatever you want to make, you can make. You know what I'm going to make? Eh, uh, reservations, because I don't feel like cooking. <laughs> and also, there are dozens of restaurants within walking distance. Yeah. Hey, kid, since you got the phone, call your mother. Tell her you still need diapers. Oh, 
How are the car companies ever going to come back if they can't design a better vehicle than this? Yeah. I guess it doesn't work, huh? Guess right. There is no I in team, but there's two in light switch. <laughs> this is your baby, and this is what he looks like on a full moon. Handsome. These clippers have an attachment that's not too attached. This is your ball game today, too, huh? Oh. <laughs> Just a minute, dear. <laughs> you like it? Yes. Now, let's see. The clippers uh, fell off. That's what happened, huh, honey? Uh -huh. Yeah, he's really a good hair cutter. But maybe next time we will go to the barbershop. <laughs> the Storyteller's Cafe is the place to come if you like your eggs with bacon, sausage, or a little side of Goofy. It's a wonderful place to find a meal with, shall we say, some extra character. I'm heading over to the buffet line. I need more coffee before I join a conga line. You are about to meet a sliding glass dork. <laughs> He's batting and catching at the same time. <laughs> she can't even draw a stick figure yet, but she can make one out of spaghetti. Two teeth. I can see them. We got more at you now. <laughs> Sunday, Sunday, you'll be running, running, running. Oh, oh. oh no. Now we're going to have to bail out the go kart industry. He's turning himself out. It's a dark day for the dark night. There are so many choices on this buffet line, I don't know where to start. Did you know that buffet is a French word that means uh, do not fill up on the bread? Hey, Donald. I understand they can make pancakes in the shape of Mickey's head. Is that right? Do you think? They could make a pancake in the shape of mine. Are you saying they don't make pancakes that big? I've been dissed by a duck. Here's something to whet your appetite. Very cute. How dumb are you, Daddy? OK, here we go, everybody. Time to pray. William? William? I think we eat. No, we pray first. William, fold your hand to pray. Thank you, Mommy. Wait, let Mommy start. Thank you. Ready? Mommy? Dear God. What? God's good. God is good. 
God is great. Thank you. Thank you for this food. Thank you for taking care. Amen. 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 <laughs> Did we turn that song? <laughs> oh, I am fed. I am happy. I'm ready to meet some furry friends and have some fun in the park. Chip, Dale, great to see you. Forest Life certainly is agreeing with you. Now, for those of you who don't know who is who, Chip is the one with the chocolate chip nose, and Dale is the one who is, um, well named Dale. Ready to hit the park? <laughs> Give me high fours. We are going to Disneyland. was so much fun, guys. You know Disneyland like the back of your paws. You, you sure, though, I don't look silly in this hat? I feel like Whoopi Goldberg. Well, if you don't think this is silly, there's a lot of silly stuff to come. Boy, what a lousy lifeguard. No, no, no! <laughs> <laughs> Cute girls, take a step forward. Fat guys, please step back. <laughs> Does anyone know CPR? Cheap pool repair. If you fall asleep at a water park, this is your wake-up call. All right, maybe we go this way. Uh, Dad's got a funny definition of way up high. Way up high. Stick around a pool party long enough, you're bound to see a couple of boobs. Welcome to the heart of Hollywood, California, the entertainment capital of the world. People come from all over the country, all over the world, here to make their dreams come true. And you know, no one makes dreams come true better than the folks at the Disney Vacation Club. Now that they're on their way to the West Coast, all of this can be yours. This is prime Hollywood real estate. Here we have the Walk of Fame, down the block, the site of the Oscars, and look at this. This is where the stars over the years have put their handprints and feet in cement. And if you have your movie premiere on the screens of Man's Chinese Theater, you know you've made it to the top, as opposed to when you have your video on AFE and you've pretty much hit bottom. Dad's been hiding three days for this trick, but it was worth the wait. <laughs> Fake snake in three, two, one. <laughs> it 
It's the grand old Apri. For his birthday, I hope they got him a defibrillator. She's okay with monsters. It's dad who really freaks her out. If I told you you could walk down Hollywood Boulevard and see all the biggest stars in the world, you'd probably think I was pulling your leg, but it's true. All you have to do is look down. This is the Hollywood Walk of Fame, where for as far as you can see, there are stars and tourists. Of course, on AFE, we believe that everyone deserves their 15 seconds of fame. This is the worst table dance ever. When LeMay turns to lame. Sometimes your music can be too laid back. The Cretaceous days apparently steadily mark the end of the excitement. We hope that you Before you reach for the stars, make sure you can reach the mic. with good timing in this show is the heckler. Well, I have the receipt, okay? So you keep the bag. <laughs> Thank you. Oh! 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 I'm so it sorry. wasn't me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Apparently, it is not the year of the dragon. These Russian dancers were led by Igor Notgudnov. <laughs> if you'd like to see your video on America's Funniest Home Videos, upload it to AFV.com. Or you can mail it to us at AFV. P.O. Box 4333, Hollywood, California, 90078. For full contest rules, log on to AFV.com or write the address above. Remember, you can't win if you don't send it in. Almost 100 years, this is still the place to see a movie. You might also run into some celebrity impersonators. <laughs> Marilyn, hello. Hello, Charlie. Great stuff. <laughs> he was freaking me out. At most parties, don't they try to raise the roof? <laughs> Box 
boxers or briefs, both, then neither. <laughs> You ate the candy, huh? It's on your. You didn't eat no candy? No. I thought you ate candy. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, maybe mommy's just mistaken. Are you sure you didn't eat no candy? No. No candy? No. Mike's attempting to uh, fix our entertainment center. And I want to get no video. Boy, talk about a short shelf life. Does this qualify as a babysitter or a dog sitter? <laughs> Caution, log jam ahead. What is the secret to moist cupcakes? We have come up with a new game called Man's Chinese Twister. Here's how it works. Let's see, in this example, we'll take Matt Damon's right footprint, add Will Smith's left footprint, and finish with George Burns' handprint, and then maybe call a chiropractor. Hey, buddy, you might have a license, but not a driver's license. With all that slobbering, we're gonna need a windshield wiper inside the car. Don't throw your gums out the windows. Come on, isn't it cheating to chase cars while you're in a car? <laughs> they taught Rusty every trick except patience. Now, this is a star on the Walk of Fame that means a lot to all of us at AFE because it honors our show's creator, Vin DeBona. And here doing a wonderful job of cleaning the star is Vin's grandson, Sam. Very nice, Sam. You've done this before, huh? Yeah. You do this about two or three times a year when you and Grandpa come and see movies uh -huh. here in Hollywood? Very nice. And I'll tell you what, you be in charge of star cleanliness and I'll be in charge of star security, all right? Uh -huh. Hey! Uh, 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 some people. <laughs> Here's the reason you should have given him a button nose. This is what's known as a bow and error. Go. Stop. Go. Stop. Go. Stop. Go. Stop. Stop. Go. Stop. Go. Stop. He heard it from the grapevine. Can you find the lamb? Come on, Jack, let's find him. Find him. What does he have in his hand? <laughs> <laughs> what is that, Jack? 
special rock. It's not a special rock. <laughs> I think that's lamb poopies. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should put that down. We call that a, a special disease. sheep treat. <laughs> it's not a we special rock. We are making up a special rock flowers court. Okay, why don't you put the special rock down in the grass, okay? Don't throw it. Let's go find some sheep. time for our second nominated video. It stars a dog who keeps on going and going and going. It's Chihuahua Wee Wee. <laughs> This looks like the graph of my stock portfolio. Still going. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, just don't get any on your nice blue sweater. Spotting a fake, we have uh, Tierney and Matt here who are going to help uh, play Pick the Real video with us. Now, you've been dating for a while, but uh, I'm going to take all of that, that wonderful chemistry you have together, <laughs> and tear it apart. We're going to have you play against <laughs> each other, okay? Sound good? Yeah, I'm going to kick his butt. All right! That's right, <laughs> Tierney. That's how we play. I describe three videos. Only one of them is real, and you have to pick the real one. Okay, here we go. First up is the real video, number one, a girl in a bikini getting run over by a private plane. Number two, a Boston Terrier playing Texas Hold'em. Or number three, a pet monkey showing his butt to a congressman. Let the butt kicking commence, dearie. <laughs> I say number two. Boston number two? Terrier. Okay, and Matt? Well, I'm gonna go with the third one because I can't say Congress is moving too quickly right now, so. <laughs> all, all, all right, and so, so you say two, you say three. Let's see uh, if that's uh, the real video. Oh, I'm still recording it. I think it's number one, the number one. Oh! Yeah, girl in a bikini hit by a private plane. <laughs> all right. All right, well, at least you're still tied. Let's try it again. Here are your three choices. Is the real video number one, a pug in a sweater vest eating an omelet? Number two, a nun with hedge clippers falling into a bush? Or number three, a man getting the remote control caught in his nipple ring? What do you think, Tierney? I say the nun falling into a bush. Why? I, it's. It's funny. It is funny, yeah. <laughs> I went to Catholic school for eight years. It's particularly funny to me. Okay, <laughs> and Matt? Um, I'm gonna go with the man getting the remote control caught in his nipple ring. Why, why that one? I don't think you should have nipple rings. It's <laughs> oh. kind of bizarre. Okay, especially that close uh, to your remote controls. Yes. <laughs> why, why would it be? All right, let's see uh, if either of those is the real video. Oh, oh. look at that nun. She's yeah. clipping. <laughs> well, there is some butt kicking going on here. Okay, here's a chance for you, Matt, to tie it up. The final video is the real one, number one, a cat in a rocking chair smoking a pipe. <laughs> number two, a woman getting her tongue stuck in a clamshell. Or number three, a boy bit in the junk by a cuddly penguin. Bit in the junk and cuddly don't seem to go together. 
But there you go. Matt, I'll give you the start here. Ooh, okay, well, I'm gonna have to go with the cat in the rocking chair smoking a pipe. Why is that? Because I like cats. Okay, <laughs> all right. And uh, Tierney? I'm gonna say boy bitten the drunk. Okay, all right. Nobody, <laughs> nobody fell for the uh, woman getting her tongue stuck in a clamshell. Let's see which one is the real video. Oh. Wow, wow, two out of three. You were right. Wow, you kicked his butt. And for that, we give you some parting gifts. Uh, we give you each AFV on DVD and in the self-serving department. You each get a copy of my new book I'm hosting as fast as I can. Zen and the Art of Staying Sane in Hollywood. How about Ann Tierney and Matt? Now enjoy these videos that are guaranteed to be the real deal. Nicely done. Where slow thinking puts you on the fast track, it's the Department of Dawn. This is the end of our intrepid hunt. Look who almost caught the 515 to heaven. <laughs> Here's a switch. Follow the bouncing guy. <laughs> This guy's diving talent matches the size of his pool. <laughs> These are the knights of the kids' table. Honey, <laughs> hurry up. You'll be late for your driver's ed class. This is what they mean by cruising for a bruising. <laughs> if you want to see a couple battle the glitches of modern technology, please press one or stay on the line, and an AFE representative will be with you shortly to show you what I'm talking about. Two, nine, four, six, four. The zip code we heard was zero, nine, four, six. If this is correct, say yes. Do it again. Say no. No. Please speak your five-digit zip code again now. Two, nine, four, six, four. You have made an invalid entry. Bell, can you pay your five-digit zip code again? Two nine four six four. The zip code we heard was two nine four six. If this is correct, where's the last one? Yes. Otherwise, say no. No. Please speak your five-digit zip code again now. Two nine four six four. The zip code we heard was <laughs> two nine four. Where's the last one? He has a four digit. No. Two, nine, four, six, four. The zip code we heard was two, nine, four, six. If this is correct, say yes. Otherwise, say no. Yes. You use our automated system. Wow. <laughs> One. I have a lot of respect for the boy in our next nominated video, and he has a lot of respect for the highest office in the land. It's presidential material. Washington say? I cannot tell a lie. What does Abraham Lincoln say? Four twelve and seven and seventy 
I'm so new. I'm, I'm so new to go. What does Nixon say? I'm a cook. What does Truman say? Um, the puck stops here. What does Ronald Reagan say? Um, Mr. Goddard, What's Bill Clinton say? Um, I did not have the answer of that woman. Very good. What does John F. Kennedy say? It's not the new big country, but but it's not the new big country. That's pretty good. But can you okay. What is George W. Bush? But but he comes to the new for you. Okay. What does George W. Bush say? Um, he fooled me once and he's not going to fool me again. <laughs> what does George H. Bush say? And what does our main man, Barack Obama, say? Yes, we can! Yes, we can! Yes, we can! Yes, we can! Very good. One of our families is going to win the grand prize, but let me tell you how cool it really is. Disney Vacation Club membership means they can return to Disney again and again and can stay in fabulous accommodations for the next 50 years. They can choose from hundreds of destinations, the Walt Disney World Resort, Hilton Head Island, Vero Beach, and soon the villas at Disney's Grand Californian Hotel and Spa. We'll be giving it all away tonight, so don't go away. <laughs> heart of Beverly Hills, one of the many stops in our Southern Californian Disney Vacation Club holiday. Now this is the home of the rich and famous, or in today's economy, the still famous, not quite so rich. It is one of the most exclusive shopping districts in the world. You know how you can tell? Not from the fancy cars, not from the thousand dollar jeans, but from the women with the little bitty dogs in their purses. Here are some mutts who would love to be that pampered. Can you do it one more time? Kind of short. Oh, wait, wait. Get back out there. All right. A round of applause for Debbie. Okay. He may have lost the dog show, but he won the frisbee. Enter Buster the Beagle Burglar. Buster! Make sure you look both ways before you cross the lawn. Hey! Heather's gonna put him through a litany of tricks. Heather? Help Larson show us his tricks. Larson, sit. Good boy, shake. Good boy, speak. Speak. Good boy. Where's your penis? Where's your penis? Good boy! Yay! You're a good dog. It's not every day you meet a dog who can fetch and do geometry. Oh, clever boy. Uh-oh. He's stuck. I am. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. You're playing catch. Oh, He's playing dead. Oh, my God. He's playing dead. The duck's playing dead. I'm really, oh, he got up. He thanks you, he thanks you. The nice thing about Beverly Hills is that you never get tired of seeing the same faces because about every five years they visit their plastic surgeon and get completely new ones. Here are some people who need some work done on their coordination. 
This year, she got a new scooter. Next year, she gets a new hip. <laughs> and you thought all seniors did was play bingo. What are you looking for? My glasses. Oh. Oh. What do they look like? <laughs> huh? What do they look like? Oh, they're my new ones. Your new sunglasses, do they have gold on them on the sides? Yeah. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Go your head. <laughs> oh, my. oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> you really should see the see the, they brought him in and took it or we saw him in the um, in the nursery and they had his diaper off. He's got the biggest <laughs> you ever saw. Him. They're just voluptuous. <laughs> We're talking about you. <laughs> Who would have thought a tetherball game would need a ball boy? Beverly Hills is a shopper's paradise. If you can't find what you're looking for here, you are not looking hard enough. I got you something. Oh, not these. <laughs> I got you some videos that you sent us for free. That ring bearer bears more than just the ring. The Benny Hill Gather can show any just cause. While they may not lawfully be joined together in marriage, let him or her now declare it, or forever hold his and her peace. I do. No, no. <laughs> Funny, most brides are basket cases before the wedding. the first one to catch the bouquet gets a tryout with the Raiders. restaurants, this is the finest. Spago, a hot spot for celebrities and autograph hounds. I'd be happy to. This is my valet ticket, isn't it? No, it's embarrassing. Hitting a pinata is even harder when you don't got a pinata.
Hey. Ah! Say, Mom, different day. to see celebrities here than just about any place else. But the key is, if you spot a big star, stay completely cool, because you don't want to make a... That's Urkel! <laughs> Yo, Urkel! <laughs> like that. I'm going to see if you'll autograph my napkin while you watch this. Urkel! problem with eating here is that everything looks wonderful. I wish I could sample it all. Excuse me. Could I just have one of those? Mmm. Mmm. Now here's something for you to sample. He can't get over the hill. Grandpa can't get over the fence. Sometimes a public restroom can be a little too public. <laughs> Mom can do a lot of things. Batting coach isn't one of them. <laughs> now that's what I call a high chair. Say hi! <laughs> hi! <laughs> we got a hundred thousand right there. <laughs> Say goodbye-bye. <laughs> Say bye-bye, Papa. Bye-bye, <laughs> Papa, the three and me. <laughs> Let's get in the bathroom. Bye, Ray. All bathroom, Ray Chatter. Right on the bathroom. so it can run away? Yeah. Okay, that's, okay, Christy, you want to do that? Uh-huh. I'm holding on to one of his legs, and I don't want him to um, 
run away from us. We want him to run away when he's outside, okay? Does that sound good? Yeah. Okay, now Daddy's gonna let the spider go. Here we go. There he goes. Say goodbye, spider. Bye! Goodbye, spider! That's Wolfgang Puck. Wolfgang! How are you? Hi, Tom. How are you? It's so good to see you. Always a pleasure to see you. I do have a question for you. Yeah? You have in your career cooked for everyone, statesmen, kings, every known star. Who do you like to prepare food for most? Well, we enjoy to cook for everybody who loves great food. You know, our motto is live, love, and eat. Yeah. And we even cook for guys like you. Oh, geez, thanks for slumming it. I understand that for all of us here, you've prepared something special. We made a special dish for you, the AFB pizza with smoked <laughs> salmon and some sturgeon and caviar. This is so much Look better than our usual cheesy variety. Well, let's not be stingy with it. Anybody else want some caviar pizza? Yeah. All right, well, now you'll eat with me. That. Sure, fine. Petting zoo or spitting zoo? <laughs> Thank you for giggling. I'm covered in Yama puke. Why can't these kids get along? Whoa! <laughs> Okay. He's a lot friendlier when his head's buried in the sand. <laughs> Good man. What did he eat? Oh. What? He ate my speaker. <laughs> Look out, flippers, gutter, slipper. Bite me on the butt. No, he's not going to bite you on the butt. Oh, my. Ah! Santa Monica Pier. Go any further west than this and you're all wet. But if you're looking for fun in the sun, you've come to the right place. They call it a conch shell for a reason. <laughs> Drinking margaritas in the hot sun wasn't enough to make you dizzy? who almost became a fish kebab. So finally... Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, we just witnessed the agony of the sea. The agony of the sea. Look out, it's Shark Week on AFE. think your commute is tough, watch how she gets to work. <laughs> They're 
there's a lot to do here. Did you know you can fish off the Santa Monica Pier? Of course, don't be surprised if you pull in a half-eaten corn dog or somebody's headshot and resume, but that's the fun of it. You never know what you're gonna get. Right now, here is our catch of the day. This fun house literally scares the pants off him. When you're not on a real fairway, things aren't always fair. <laughs> hey, go take a long dog off a short pier. You've heard the newspaper business is in trouble. It's all because of this kid. Contractor? I don't need no stinking contractor. Bob, look out! I just picked up this souvenir shell for when I leave Santa Monica Pier. Later, I can put this to my ear and hear the ocean. I'm hearing the Atlantic. I got a bum shell! Name that sound. <laughs> Name that sound. Name that sound. The Santa Monica Pier is not just for tourists. A lot of locals come here to get something that they can't get anywhere else in Los Angeles. Fresh air. I love amusement parks. This next kid doesn't. Look, there's a camera. Hi. Get ready. Get ready to spring. Keep your head back. Feet on the rail. Stop it! 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 Stop it!
Gather round, it's time for the family of the week. Little Susie's modeling mom's hat and shoes. <laughs> yeah, fall down the stairs. Are you okay? And it seems like Brother Randy's also spent time in Mom's closet. <laughs> Better lock that underwear drawer, Mom. And as you can see from little Bobby, Baby got back. <laughs> <laughs> and Kathy wants to play doctor with all the family members. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. See you next time on the Family of the Week. You know, I could stay here all day, but I have to announce the winner of all this. Not not the ocean. The winner of a Disney Vacation Club membership that could bring them here or hundreds of other destinations for the next half a century. I got to get ready. I'm going back to my home base. They call them rapids because the pain comes rapidly. Long time The only thing he's gonna catch is a cold. <laughs> hey, don't bite the glove that covers the hand that feeds you. I hope that miniature boat has a miniature life jacket. <laughs> and here's how the kids got cut out of the will. Back in my room at Disney's Grand Californian Hotel and Spa. What's this? From Chip and Dale? How oh, about that? Look at this, and it's still just full of nuts. I gotta go get changed. I'll make it quick. All righty, I am all ready, and we are going to crown our winner in a moment. win the Disney Grand Prize? There's only one way to find out. Be here when AFB returns. And now it's time for the comedy to get serious. Let's meet the finalists for our spectacular Disney Vacation Club Grand Prize. First up, from Linfield, Massachusetts, is Frank Lopalato and family. Their son's birthday candles almost lasted longer than his birthday. It's birthday blowout. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Our next 
next contender from Omaha, Nebraska, is the Tams family. Their video stars a toddler who knows his American history. It's presidential material. Yes, we can! Yes, we can! Yes, we can! And our final contenders from Austin, Texas, are Chance and Yoko Nelson. Their video stars a tiny dog with a big bladder. It's Chihuahua Wee Wee. Okay, earlier we went to the Walt Disney World Resort in Florida where guests voted to determine the winner of the Disney Vacation Club Grand Prize. We have the results. Let's get down to it. The, I, I, don't, I don't have the envelope. I need some help from the Fab Five, maybe? A little magic here. Mickey, come on out. Minnie, Donald, Pluto, Goofy, my Pete. Mickey, the envelope, please. I want to thank all of you for coming to this grand celebration. And the winner of the Disney Vacation Club Grand Prize, 50 years of vacations, with a choice of over 500 destinations around the world, is... Birthday Blowout! Vacation. You couldn't give a grandfather a better gift than that. All right, now you know it's 50 years of vacation, so stay home. Am I included? Yeah, of course. Where do you think you might want to go first, do you know? Well, where do you want to go, Monet? Disney, here we come! All right! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Congratulations to our winner. I got souvenir confetti. We'll be back with season number 20 before you know it. And remember, if you get it on video, you could get it in cash. Good night, everybody. <laughs> wow, look at all this stuff. Holy mackerel. Oh.